You're Rika Furude, a girl forced to repeat the world until she stops her murder. Her ancestor Hanyu rewinds the time for her, but her power is waning. Sometimes it's a mystery who kills her, but sometimes it is her own very friend, very own friends, driven crazy by a disease called Hinamizawa Syndrome. Hanyu Furude, you can use her abilities to cheat, but beware that abusing her power or stressing yourself might lead to you to a bad end. Ah, back to peaceful times. It was early morning and the sun was just creeping over the trees, but the light was not yet warm enough to burn off the dampness in the air. I knew today was going to be a bright sunny day. It had always been a bright sunny day. I decided to not fight the repetition and was working on putting up some laundry before heading to the school with Satoko. That is when the unexpected happened, causing me to trip out the door spilling the clothes out from me like some twisted idea of a rainbow. I quickly said it was fine and dismissed Satoko. I ran to the top of the steps and was staring down at me with a worried look. It was not that I simply tripped, it was that I tripped over a package addressed to myself. I grabbed a few clothes and then started opening the package earnestly. It was a box of unlabeled vials, a syringe, and a paper note. After confirming the vials were not empty, I read over the note. As you know, the inhabitants of peaceful Hinamizawa are all under the effects of the Hinamizawa syndrome. A disease that when under stress or leaving the valley brings upon paranoia and eventually death. There's no cure, but there are preventative and stabilizing methods, in case there's one of the new options available to us. Unfortunately, we have discovered that your friends are in the later stages of the syndrome. Try to give them a shot through the clinic will only cause their paranoia to spiral out of control. So we believe that it might be better that a trusted friend try instead. Best of luck. I did not have much time to contemplate the contents of the letter, so I tucked the letter and vows into my school bag by the door and quickly finished pinning up the laundry. Rika! Sadako called my name and looked at me with a sorrowful expression on her face as I walked to the front door to retrieve my school bag. Did she look into my st in my school bag? I quickly thought but realized that she was staring at my scraped knee. I gave a sigh and ran upstairs to fetch a band-aid while she waited for me below. With a few minutes to myself, I quickly set some tasks that I had to answer to. I have to figure out how to get a friend to receive a shot and which of my friends should I cure first. Well, we all belong to an after-school club and the only way to get a club member to do something willingly, no matter how embarrassing, is a penalty game for losing. The first task was easy because easy to do because I have played their games all before and if I wanted to, I could just win easily. I decided to deal with Reina Ryugu an older classmate of mine, so after school I started to follow her at a safe distance. She comes off as an airhead, but is incredibly perceptive at times, and today was no exception. It's a cheerful Rika, or Re Reina rather. Hello Rika, I wonder why Rika is following me, I wonder. Rika's house is the other way, yet she is here. Reina caught me, Nipa. I pulled my usual childish act as I closed distance with her. I was unaware if my friend was indeed under the effects of the Hinomizawa syndrome that I'm hoping to prevent. You are not Rika Reina knows. You have such scary eyes. I halted at the weird comment she gave. I had to assume that my nervousness and suspicion was indeed showing. I'm Rika and I just wanted to talk with you. Liar. She has a weird face going on. I guess if I just wanted to play a little game. If I find something Reyna really likes during a treasure hunt, she has to do one favor. Reyna loves treasure hunts, but what sort of favor? I believe you are sick, and I want to give you a shot. If you do not find something Reyna really likes by nightfall, Reyna gets to take home Rika. Oh, oh, 
Oh no. Reina treasure game. Dig up treasure. Space bar to receive Reina points. Get at least 50 points to beat the challenge. 100 or more for extra rewards. Kentakun doll for instant win. You have to... Till sunset. Wait, what? Knife. Wait, space bar. Nest of bugs. Oh boy. Glove. Participation. Okay. What can we find? A broom. You need at least 50, 50 points. Fancy comb. Nope. Wait! Did not mean to do that. Well, like... We barely got anything from that anyways. Okay. Wonder why... Arika moved into the way. I just wanted to pry that junk for her. Are we dead? Oh. Nope. Appears I have died again. I will use Hanya's power to go back and this time I will succeed in preventing my death. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, so she's actually moving around. Okay. Did not realize that. Not Reina, just like... She's trying to help you here. So you, re you really have to like spam the space bar, don't ya? may have to like bind one of my, my keys to the space bar. Oh, found a Kentakun. Oh, we did it! Receive Reina's prize Kentakun statue. After giving Reina a shot of the vaccine, she had fallen unconscious. I had no other option but to leave an anonymous call at the clinic to pick up Reina. I decided that Sotoko would be my next target. She was my best friend after all. I spent a school day figuring different scenarios of which was the best way to confront her with my idea. I chose to do it on the way home together. I dare not to have our game near the school in case artists find out or even worse someone outside our group knows. The trip home felt longer. Either it was me dreading what would have to be done or anticipating a stopping crisis before it got worse. We were almost to the house, so I started to say something to her, but she interrupted me before I could. Rika, you've been acting weird lately. Is something wrong? Oh, here's the... This is like the, the preview link that shows when um you link the, the website on Discord for the Ichio page. I was caught off guard, unable to think of a good response. Rika? Satoko, let's play a game. It's been a while since we played with just the two of us. I'll let you choose a game, but we follow same club rules. If I win, you have to pay a penalty game of anything I want. Oh, I like this, but I'm not planning on losing to you. It's been a long time since you have gone through my traps. Let's say if you can meet me at the bridge in 15 minutes, you win. These are my deadliest traps yet, so do not underestimate me. I have helped you with for years with your traps and know all of them. There's nothing I have not seen before. I'll see through your traps and be at the bridge in no time. The bridge is on the path that leads to our old house. No one ever uses it. So she could trap the path all she wanted. It was part of our escape plan. Though from whom she never said. I remember that the sides of the path are full of brambles. So one must use the path and have no choice but to face those traps. Oh boy. Sotoko's traps. You must get past three of her deadliest traps. More traps you are caught in, the worse your stress will become. You... You have four choices on how to bypass the trap. Use the vines, use the rope that Satoko set aside for you. Brave the pit trap, use Hanyu.
All right. All right. Um, rope is out of place, hanging along the branches of one side, offering a safe way across. Sure. Make your way safely across. Branches on this side seems to hold your weight if you want to swing across, okay? You fall into the pit trap. You use precious time getting out and whipping the mud from yourself. Hmm. Rope, brave the dirt, send on you first. Brave the dirt. It became obvious that Satoko's deadliest trap is just letting people's imagination get the better of them, causing them to blunder. Your heart did skip a beat when walking across it, but you had to you had called her bluff. Oh wow, that was easy. <laughs> easy clap! No say it's meant to be replayed. Got it. Hanya decided she did not want to watch me give Satoko the needle, and I did not want to waste any time arguing with her. I hurried onto the bridge where Satoko was waiting. Hardest one's coming up. Oh no. I did feel ashamed thinking that she might have actually done some serious harm with those traps. The Satoko that I knew would not let simple pranks maim or hurt someone gravely. I then realized I should not have let my guard down so soon once I saw her ahead of me. Her eyes seemed to have none of the playful light behind them. They were instead were devoid of feeling. So were the traps RNG or did I just like choose correctly? She looked at me as she slowly grabbed the wire of the suspension bridge. I forgot that she would be so paranoid due to the Hinomizawa syndrome. With me approaching her with the needle in hand, I would not know what her mind must be thinking now. Would she start the bridge swinging while I had no chance to grab for safety? Some RNG, but the next game's RNG. Okay. Saroko collapsed on the bridge, her hand sliding down to support. I ran thinking she may have fainted, but soon realized she was crying. There, there, you did lose fair and square, I started to say, but I was interrupted by her. Ni kapu! She cried as she grabbed me and brought me down to her level. It took a while for the nonsense word to jog my memory. The sound of broken porcelain po pulled me from my days of looking out the window. I rushed to the kitchen where Satoko was washing dishes, only to find her on the floor overcome with tears. She had broken a mug, but she was bawling. It seemed like she might have broken a bone. It's just a mug. There's no need to cry. We have plenty of those. I scoffed at the scene. I've been in a bad mood and I may have let my attitude get the better of me. Nikabu! She cried out as she gathered the broken pieces. It was one of the few items that she had taken with her from her old house. The mug belongs to her brother who had a habit for only drinking out of a certain brug. Certain mug. It could have been a germ phobia or the cup had special meaning to him. But when he left town without so much of a word, Satoko kept the cup to remember him by. Nikapu! She continued to repeat as if th saying those words would change things. Stop that, I told her as I grabbed her by the arm and pulled away. Her hands were covered in small cuts from the broken mug. The powder piece pieces were covered in her bloody fingerprints, as if it was some weird finger painting. Nikapu! She screamed and tried her best to pull away from me, causing me to... I have to dig in with my heels. Satoko, you can't fix it. I tried to reason with her, which seemed to have gotten through since she just fell to the floor submissively and continued to cry. It's time to be a big girl. I know that the cup held memories of your brother, but even without the cup, you still have those memories. You know full well your brother is not a cup. I explained to her the last bit made her stop crying as she tried to stifle a laugh. She fought hard to try to keep crying. Nini is going to be mad at me. She tried another reason to keep on crying. I decided I would not lose to this way of thinking either. You really think your brother would be mad over this mug? He doesn't have the mug now, does he? He no doubt has been drinking from something else. That something else is ni kapu, not that. Oh wait, no. <laughs> whoops. That, some that something else is ni kapu, not that. I replied as I point pointed to the mess on the floor. I guess... Satoko started muttering as she realized she was embarrassing herself. When your brother comes back, we won't tell him you cried over a silly mug. I told her as I helped her off the ground. Satoko wiped her tears and went to get a broom and dustpan. 
I got to return to the peacefulness I had come to enjoy. Yes, it is time to be a big girl and no crying for just losing a game. I told, told Satoko as I held her. She stopped crying and just buried her face in my chest. I took the sudden silence as an agreement to go ahead with the needle. She was soon in a deep sleep. I gave a sigh as I realized a new predicament. I have to carry Satoko all the way to the clinic and Hanyu was nowhere to be found. I put Satoko onto my back and got a small break that the trip would at least be all downhill. I didn't want the staff to see me so I just rang the bell and left Satoko in the lobby. The disease in the clinic being used to search for the cure is only known by select few, so I tried not to get into a complicated situation. Alright, we got like three more to go, right? I decided to face our club leader. If my plan was to save my friends from the Hiramizawa syndrome, it would be best to have Mion Sonozaki on my side. Of course the same reasons for that is also the same reasons that I hesitate to try. It's not going to be easy. I waited till the end of the school to make my move. Mian told me that there would be no club meeting at the end of school because she was going to be helping out at her uncle's store. I saw this was my chance to get her alone. Everyone had left class in a stroke in a hurry afterwards when school ended. Mian was still struggling with her overpacked locker. Whenever she tried to retrieve something from the locker, it would predictably drop game pieces from the many games she also stashed within her locker. Rika, you've been there watch watching me ever since lunch. Is there something you wanted? I'm in a hurry, so what can Uncle Mion do for you? Uncle Mion? If you knew someone is sick, but they won't take their medicine, what would you do? Is Satoko sick? I kept quiet and let her draw her own conclusions. Well, you could hide the medicine in something. What if she's too smart for that? Maybe make it so she had no choice but take it herself. If she loses the game and she had to promise to do it no matter what. That might work because all of us club members agreed that if we lose a game, we'd have to pay the penalty. Just like Keiichi does almost every time we play. Mian does not know that I've played all her games during those club meetings in those other worlds. I have been recycling the time we had together over and over, knowing if all her games was good advantage over her. Except, we haven't played her games, this is our first time. Mian then started walking towards the door. I stood in front of her, barring her escape with my hands outstretched. Of course, she was older and stronger than I am. Could easily push me away if she wanted to. Let's play a game then. I told you I have to. What? You think I'm sick? I feel terrible. I'm as healthy as an ox. If I win the game, you must take your medicine. Well, I guess you're serious about this. It can be any game. Choose your game and I will win it. Neon's penalty game. Purple squares give penalties. Pink squares give no penalties. Take turns rolling a dice till someone reaches the finish line. Special rules might apply. Alright. Here's some pure orange juice. I've never... I, I don't even know what 100% orange juice is about. What is that game about? What do you do in that game? Rules are simple. We take turns rolling our own dice. The person who reaches the end of the board wins. It's basically what I'm seeing now. Okay. A board game where you roll dice. If you land on, if you land on a purple square, you draw a penalty, which you must do. If you refuse, then you lose the game. I'll even let you choose to add one to the numbers of what your dice rolls to give you better odds and make this game interesting. So are the rules understood? That is quite generous. I guess you're not too scared of the possibility of losing. Here's a red dice. Whoever ro rows higher will go first. If we tie, you will go first. Despite these handicaps I give myself, I will not lose at my own game now. Very well. A1. Since by the rules, I can add 1 to make it a 2, even if we are just rolling to see who will go first. Well, I guess it did not slip past you. Still, a 2 is l laughable. Well, let us see what my dice will roll. Well, I guess I beat your lowly roll. Tough luck. So she will go first, but with my advantage, I should still have a good chance of winning. 
I have uneasy feeling. Well, <laughs> rip. Another six. Guess no penalty for me. Two sixes in a row seems very unlucky. Roll the dice. Oh, we got seven. But then the penalty. A good roll, but you got so yourself a penalty. The penalty card is cat ears. <laughs> She's put on cat ears. Another six. Guess no penalty for me. I believe those dice are loaded. Bro said we use our own dice. Mine just happened to be the loaded variety. Internet died and an ad came up. Rip. Uh oh. Uh oh. You back taxes. Okay, alright. We're good to go! I'll play it out just to see your mounting penalties. When I win this game, you will have to take the penalties I choose in a special chamber set aside for such. Roll the dice. Another cat ear- cat accessory penalty. A tail to go with those ears. I will end our game here. Another six. I just won the game. Time to dress you as a nurse and give you that nasty injection to yourself. Rip. Well played. Next world, this will play out differently. I wonder what this medicine would do to myself. I feel lightheaded. Rika! Rika, Hanyu, reach such time to before you play the game. Well, guess we'll just have to cheat. Three. Six. Six. This might come as a shock to you, but she cheats. Yeah, she does cheat. Alright. Another six. Dice are loaded. Cheat. Also row six. So you also row sixes. Unfortunately for you, I go first. And it will win no matter what you row. Here. Your cat tail penalty. Oh, that's true. Oh no. We gotta cheat on like the beginning. But that wasn't an option. Oh, I guess the RNG is like having to to roll a six, right? At the start. Alright, I guess we'll just have to. Well, you know what it is, guys? Remember, the rule of probability is always 50-50. Either it happens or it doesn't, so there's a 50% chance that I get a 6, and a 50% chance that I don't. Oh, well, okay, we got it. Hey, alright. She's not the club leader for nothing. There's another way? Oh, really? I guess we'll just have to cheat. Tell me after? Okay. You always seem to avoid the big penalty. Something I picked up on the way. They did say that Fruides can see the future. I do not have to tell you what the future holds for you. Take a wild guess. I'm proud of you defeating me at my own game. How about best of three? We can double the stakes. Well, it was worth a try. Promise is a promise. I'll let you give me that needle. I have fun. You're a worthy opponent and a great friend. <laughs> yes, a worthy cheating opponent. Just two people trying to out-cheat each other. When I'm finished with what I have to do, I'll be up for more ge club games. I'll make an even harder game and I will certainly not lose again. I gave Mion the needle and then she fell unconscious in her chair. I will make sure that Yure Clinic will find her. Three of my friends have been saved. It's only Keiichi to attend to. It was strange that Reina and Satoko is not awakened at the clinic though. Mion will now soon be joining them. For some reason, I did not feel happy at all. Am I just second guessing myself? I was glad that it was. It would be the weekend so I would 
not have to face another day of school without my friends. All we had left is Keiichi and everyone would be saved. While sitting on the steps of the temple coming up with an idea to cure Keiichi, Anyu was acting strange. Rika, I think we should stop. Why would we do that? We only had Keiichi left, then our, all of her friends would be cured. Are they cured? Why won't they come back to school? Why are they still at the clinic? Probably am murdering them then, Pop. <laughs> it's like... We're just gonna trust, like... These, uh... Well, I don't know the, the history behind this clinic. But I feel like Rika was kind of expecting something from, from the sender, so she was... She wasn't suspicious, right? When she got the the package of the the syringes, so who knows? I'm sure it takes time to recover. Why do we not go visit them? We are running out of time. We can visit them later after curing Keiichi. Let's go to the clinic. I'm not going to help you anymore. You're acting strange. You are the one acting strange. Hanyu's red light, green light. Hanyu has been a teleport has a teleporting barrier up. Find a gas before time runs out. Catch Hanyu to win. She's in on a murder plan, so just you're, I'm not in on it? Your character is. Maybe. Fine, we can play this game. If I catch you, I win. Rika, stop! Your powers will weaken and I will catch you. After Keiichi, I will celebrate some with some spicy kimchi. Wait, kimchi, not kimichi, right? Or is kimichi another thing? No, not the kimichi. This one's tough. Oh no. There must be a pattern or some way to tell where to go. Wait, what? Hmm. Okay. Whoops. Running a little too far there. Okay, it's just uh, memorizing, right? Whoops. Okay, to the right of the well. One, two, three. No, one, two. One. Okay, that. The leaves are moving around. Okay, why am I, like, running into the leaves? Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Okay. Something about these leaves. Wait, what? Hanyu's repeating barrier has hose in it. He sees to show an opening, but the wall is too steep. There's likely the same hole closer to the well, too. Closer to the well? Splash water. You see the path out, but the water drying up too fast. Wait. Okay. If you guys have time to play water, then Rika has time for more walkies. Hmm. Well, it's too sleep. There's likely same hole closer to the to the well too. Closer to the well. Oh no, we're running out of time. What's the... Like, you can walk through, but then the leaves will just teleport you. Hmm. I think we go up to here first. And this moves the, the leaves to the left.
Yeah, I just figured that out, Dai Sushi. Okay, and you can't do the water anymore. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna run out of time this time around, for sure. We only got through the first phase. Oh. Okay. Oh, uh, so <laughs> no. Well, we're out of time. Later on, there's a cheating device. Rika, what is happening? That's right. I accidentally got turned around and fell down the temple stairs. Guess I failed in this world as well. Syndrome level four. All right. Got four. So rip. So on second one, right? Okay. Hanyu, let's try changing Mia's dice instead. A one. How can I revert a one? Impossible. You have to draw a penalty card, Mion. Out of all the penalty cards, it had to be that one? You would not be stupid enough to get a pen or put a penalty that even a great Mion Tsunazaki is afraid of. It would not have been a good deck without everyone wanting to avoid drawing from it. Though never in a million years did I draw my own card. You run, Rika. You win, Rika. There's no way I can eat canned meat. Those horrible rumors that the canned meat of the Tsunazaki clan so long ago could never or could have been human flesh had made me never to look at a can of meat the same way ever again. Proud of you for defeating me at my own game. How about best of three? We can double the stakes. Alright. For the people I'm able to beat the puzzle, I put an item in a game specifically to help it for those people. Ah, okay. So is that from a different chapter then? Alright, here we go. Memory game. Okay. All right, one, two, hmm, it's like, make sure it is, whoops, nothing else here. Okay, so, but like, for some reason, it's already teleporting me there so quickly. Okay, so middle first. Middle. Middle, middle. Oh, wait. Middle, middle, left. Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry about me. I guess I'll figure it out eventually. Middle, middle, left. Left, up. Okay. Oh, god damn it. One. Okay, what is this? When you go near the dog, Hanyu comes to your side to protect you and you caught her. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? Uh, did I do it? 
If you want Keiichi, I will not stop you. Go on and disappear. I will break the loop myself. With that, I will now head to Keiichi's house. Okay, I have no idea how I did it, but... Alright, we did it, boys! We're good to go! Is something, something strange is going on. Why is everyone at the clinic? Nipa! You're sick. I do not know. What is that that you're carrying? Nipa! I saw what you did to Reina. I was supposed to meet her on that day. Let's play a game. Oh, nope. I had him in a corner. I was armed with a needle. I got ahead of myself and made a fatal mistake. Nope, we need more Nipas. Still want to accidentally, uh. There we go. No, they reset when you rent to a level. Oh god. That... Why do I still have the BRB up? Whoops. That sounds terrible. I wonder if anybody's actually, like, beaten the game and got into good or normal ending then, in, in that case. Because I know there's people sadistic enough to, you know, keep trying over and over again. But whether they stream it or... Oh, god damn it. I overstepped. But yeah, whether they stream it or, like, record it is a different story. Alright, let's try explaining it to him. You're sick. What is it that you're carrying? Medicine. So what you did to Reyna. Well, it's probably not Nipa, so had to do it. Let's play a game. Okay. They would not they would not go to the clinic, so we played a game and they lost. I was able to give them a shot and save them. Well, if I win, I want you to go to the clinic. Well, KG's Reina Treasures Redux. Dig up treasure, spacebar to receive Reina points, get at least 50 points to beat the challenge. Kenta Kun Doll for instant win, you have to sun. Sunnet? Sunset? Nothing. Well, there, there is a chest, but it's like very obvious. Is it that simple? Punch in a box. What's a 4chan screamer? Oh no. Wow, I actually know something that Mpop doesn't. You know what 4chan is, right, Mpop? Well, if you don't know what M uh, 4chan is, it's probably for the best that you don't. But, short story is like. 4chaners, when they rage as. When they rage at something, they go re, and they scream like that. Wait, leave him be. Stick him with the needle. I had won. All my friends were now in the clinic, cured of the Hinamizawa syndrome. At least I thought. You should not have come to me sooner. This note did not come from me, though I wish you had kept one of those want vials. Rip. And Pop was right. Without the vial, we cannot make an antidote. I left empty vial at the dump site. Maybe I can go back to get it. I will send someone for it. You do not look well. Maybe we should run a few tests on you as well. I just have not been sleeping well. I just, I just found out I poisoned all my friends. Dr. Yurei put me in a bed and gave me something to put me to sleep, though I faked taking it. This was a night I can never surpass and I had doomed myself by my own hands. I was so absorbed in my thoughts that then I hear the door open and someone entered the room. They stuck me with a needle as they helped me down. I could not get a look at their face or even fight back. Maybe the next world will be better. RIP. Level 2 Syndrome. 